We begin with an out of control inferno. One vehicle after another burning in a parking lot. Good evening, I'm Rick Fulbaum. And I'm Rudy Bay Shabazi. As this fire burned, we had two helicopters above it, and you see the view from each and these monitors behind us. We saw the flames, the explosions, and then the aftermath. The cars and trucks, all a total loss. What's left? Just a worthless pile of burned metal. And let's take you live to the scene now. CBS 4's Silva Harapetian is there with more on what happened earlier tonight. Silva. It is dark out here, but lingering in the air is the stench of burnt gasoline. The fumes almost overwhelming. You can't see in this lot behind me, but there are more than two dozen cars, trucks, and trailers, charred mangle that were destroyed in this fire that is still under investigation. You can't hear it, but you can see it. Explosions, flames. Black smoke. Witnesses who saw it up close call it hell on earth. Boom, boom, boom. La candela va arriba de mí. The fire started small, involving only a few cars, but within minutes it had grown into an inferno. It happened so fast it sent business owners and employees in the area into panic. Oh, it sounded like, like a big bomb, like boom, huge. Scary. This man owns a furniture store across the street, worried about his employees. He evacuated his business. Uh, it was windy and it was pushing the, the flames towards our, our side. And this business owner shared his cell phone video. You can hear the explosions and car parts flying everywhere as people run and duck. The heat was unbearable. We had to put all the cars inside from our customers and I hope that you know, it didn't spread out to our side and we had to leave the premises because it was, it was really intense. The fire department ordered evacuations 100 feet radius from the fire. From the ground, witnesses captured the intensity. From the air, the smoke could be seen for miles. At one point, it shut down two runways at Opalaka Airport. Fortunately, the structure was not involved and um, nobody was injured at the present time. The structure, a business connected to two names, American Fruit and Produce and American Trucking. People who work in the area say the business owns the open lot where the fire started and subleases it to trucking and towing companies. By nightfall, fire investigators looking for clues as they examined the burnt cars, trucks and trailers. And back here live, perhaps the timing of this incident towards the end of the day, so there weren't very many people at this lot, which is why there were no injuries in this case. Just who all these cars belong to, that is still information that is still unclear, and the extent of the damage, that is still unknown. And, of course, the fire department now looking into the cause of this fire. I'm Silva Harapetti on CBS4 tonight. Thank you, Silva.